Hey Libras, welcome to your July, uh, mid-July. 2021 reading. We have been doing this for a while, Libras. What is going on with you? I hope all is well. This is not going to resonate with all the Libras out there. If so, I would be famous and rich. But, you know, if it tells your story, wonderful. Okay? It's going to tell somebody's story. I hope it's y'all. All right? So, if you want a reading, go to www.sunshinetarot.net and you can get a Zoom reading, a video reading, a phone reading. Uh, ooh, the Justice card fell out with the Eight of Wands. That fit. Maybe you canceled some trip. A trip was canceled, okay? Um, there could be some legal problems that you're going through. Could be IRS, could be a lawsuit that you have, could be child support issues. Maybe you couldn't locate the father or you couldn't find out where he really works, something like that, okay? Um, somebody could have possibly ghosted you, a significant relationship, all right? That could have happened with the justice I'm gonna put it back in because I wasn't ready to do a reading but it fell out so and you know for your card to come in upside down something is something could possibly be turning your life upside down all right and it could be legally um, or it could be in regards to a divorce or a marriage something like that okay um, with the eight of wands reverse you're getting told to slow down all right these cards fell out what do we have we have the three of wands the Ace of Coins reverse and the Three of Cups reverse. So I see you building. Um, you could be using your own gifts and talents to make a living for yourself. You could be um, moving into body positivity as well. I see somebody really making a sincere uh, offer to you. Like they uh, may be giving you money. They want to move in with you. Um, this person really wants to see if you if you guys can make this work. The two of you could be building a foundation with each other. You know, um, like getting to know each other. If you guys also could be moving in with each other if you don't already move in or live with somebody. Um, um, I also feel like uh, it, it feels like somebody has their eyes exclusively on you, okay? With the Three of Cups reverse, all right? Three of Cups right side up, you know, it's friendship, other women, other, other men. When it's reverse, it's just me and you. So I see you building a foundation with someone who is um, really taking this seriously. You could still be in the beginning stages, you know, whatever you call beginning, all right? Um, but I feel like some of you are seeing someone or dealing with someone and um, it's starting to become serious, okay? So we are going to do a uh, reading, a love reading for Libras for mid-July. We're going to look into the charms and then I'm going to lay out the cards for an extended reading. And I'm going to lay out three additional cards that answers where is this relationship going, which is like a preclude, a prelude um, to the extended reading. At the end of the video, I will let you know how to... Um, uh, see the extended video. Okay. All right, Libras, let's see what we see in the cards for you. What do we see in the cards for Libras for mid-July? Libra, mid-July. Libras who are watching the Tarot on YouTube. Libras, mid-July. I hope this resonates. I'm trying to tap into your energy now. Libra, mid-July. Libra, mid-July. Libra, who are watching, mid-July. Libras, mid-July. Okay. Oh, this feels right. Ace of Wands. Six of Wands. The Devil Reverse. The King of Swords. The Knight of Cups with the Judgment card. 
So with the Ace of Wands, somebody is very passionate about you here. You could be making a passionate new start uh, with someone, possibly a fire sign or somebody that you work with, or you could just be very passionate about someone or they're very passionate about you. You guys could be starting over again, all right, or this could possibly be new. Others of you, you might have a new job or you've uh, taken on a new passion with your work. Okay, we have the six of wands here. Um, that's Jupiter and Leo. So you could be dealing with the Leo. Uh, there could be a Leo around you in your environment. Um, or you're just going to be succeeding at work the next couple of weeks. I see you getting more attention to maybe from uh, people than usual. People may compliment you more. You may uh, get a hit on more than you normally do. Okay, there's something that's kind of um, sexy uh, maybe about you the next two weeks, especially from the fire signs. Okay, I really feel like there's a fire sign, particularly a Leo, that may flirt with you or uh, give you some type of um, indication that they like you. If not, I see you being um, victorious with your work and victorious uh, with someone who makes you feel real good. Okay, this is the devil reverse. Some of you are in a healthy relationship if you're seeing someone um, and you guys are winning. Things are going well in this connection, right? I feel victory uh, in a romantic situation with someone who you're passionate about um, and who makes you feel good. They could have Capricorn in their chart. This feels like... Um, something that feels comfortable like I'm getting a real comfortable feeling here let me put this light on I can't believe I didn't put this light on huh. okay is that a little better I'm getting a real comfortable feeling with this person um, you have the king of swords here which is your card and this is either you or the person that you're with is a man with the plan the king of swords right that's an energy that talks about um, moving forward making this work it could even talk about for some of you a divorce though getting an attorney um, we saw the justice yeah, reverse card that could represent getting an attorney but in a, a love reading this is talking about somebody who plans on um, making it work with you if this is a romantic situation okay you I don't know um, you know I feel like you were making you well the knight of cups is looking towards the right okay that may not be your energy you could be seeing someone, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, um, who, hmm, we're going to have to clarify it. The cup, they are bringing their cup, but it's looking in the wrong direction. I feel like you could be girlfriends and boyfriends with someone, but I don't feel like at this time, you may feel like this is your last relationship. Okay, let's see. Why is the Knight of Cups head turned? Why is the Knight of Cups head? Oh, well, we get the Two of Cups. So I feel like um, you are seeing someone who you really care about. I feel like there is a... Um, uh, a connection, a sweet connection with this person. It could be a water sign, right? You guys could be girlfriends and uh, boyfriends. It ends on the judgment card facing you. So I'm just a little confused as to why the Knight of Cups is going in the opposite direction of you if everything is so beautiful here. 
you know it's like we start off with a passionate romance uh, with somebody really wanting to make it work like there's an energy is either your energy or your person's energy with all this fire and this victory card this person really wants to make it work with you also they may get a lot of attention when you're out or you may get a lot of attention and it might be a little bit of competition as far as who's the more attractive something like that okay um, you could be you know with someone who's very attractive though the devil is reversed so I feel like this is not a toxic situation it feels like it's really healthy I feel like you're in a healthy situation and you guys plan on carrying this connection um, somebody has a plan here and it looks like they plan on maybe taking this connection all the way to um, making a final judgment so I feel like you are dating someone or seeing someone and they want to continue to see you and there is camaraderie here but I don't know if you feel at this time this is uh, your last relationship okay although I do feel like you're in it you know this is where you are emotionally and your person could be feeling like this is not their last relationship okay somebody is given their cup in the opposite direction but everything else looks so beautiful let's qualify uh, or yeah uh, clarify the judgment card three of swords huh There's some things about this union that brings you sorrow. Okay? It could be another person, not necessarily. But there's some things about this union that brings you pain or brings your partner pain. Uh, it could be words that have been expressed since the swords represents uh, words and thoughts. It could be words that have been expressed back and forth to you. Um, whatever the case is, it looks like with this victory card here and uh, you guys going to God about things or um, going to a high, like somebody could be praying about this relationship. Um, it seems like whatever your obstacles are here, there is somebody here who plans on uh, overcoming these obstacles. Like one of you here wants to overcome your obstacles. Libra, the Three of Swords is here. That's your energy. You could be hurt in this connection or something um, may not feel right. All right, let's, let's take another look. So what happens... Uh, in July for Libras. Eight of coins reverse, five of wands, the emperor. Wow. The king of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the empress. What direction is she facing? Okay. Um, wow. The emperor is here with his empress. So some of you um, are married. Some of you are moving into a very stable relationship with someone. Some of you have options. I see the emperor here with the king of coins. So there could be more than one man or more than one woman that likes you. Um, it looks like some of you who are in relationships, you're going to be moving towards marriage. Okay, with this empress here and having a baby you could be with an Aries okay Aries and Libra or with the Taurus another Libra I'm seeing uh, Taurus here pretty strong Virgo Capricorn I feel like your person has competition um, and the competition wants to be with you as much as your person wants to be with you. 
I feel like you two are going to be working really hard on making this relationship work. And I feel like the fact that you have other people that, that wants you, or it could be vice versa, because other people want your person, somebody is going to be on their P's and Q's and act right. You may be proposed to for marriage with the empress uh, and emperor there. For the empress and emperor to come up in the same reading is very rare. So there's a strong possibility that you are with the mate that you're going to uh, be with for a while. Okay, you know, cards change. So I can't say years, you know, but for a while. Um, I see... Now, if you don't have multiple people to choose from, there's somebody else coming in your cards that maybe you don't know yet. And this person that's coming is bringing an offer to you, the king of coins. And this offer is an offer of longevity and marriage. You could know this person or you may not know this person. But what I am predicting is that there are two people um, if you don't know these people yet, then they're coming. If you're single, you do not have to let me know in the comment section that you're single. I, you know, I can only see what I see, right? But, um, yeah, I see that those of you who are in relationships, I definitely feel like both of you are going to want to work this out and somebody has competition, um, yeah, I feel like some of you are in relationships and they're going to be other people that try to woo you away from this primary relationship. Now, others of you are going to be um, really prospering in your business or in your career. You may meet an Aries or a businessman or someone that has money that is going to start dating you. I would encourage you to start dating online because there is a successful man in the atmosphere okay um like this i don't know to me when i hear shit like this it just sounds just too good to be true you know because i don't know this other person but it looks like they're coming okay let's do a read for uh single libras single Libras. So for July, uh, those of you who are seeing someone, um, I feel like you guys are just going to be, m uh, moving into a marriage energy, like, you know, being a couple going out, doing day to day things, eating, paying your bills, going to the movies, and it's going to feel, um, very peaceful and abundant. Okay. Also finances look really good for you or your person. The six of coins money getting put in your hands by somebody okay so uh with the king of coins here and the empress this is serious wealth some of you could have gotten a real good job okay or you got really promoted if you're starting a business it looks real good okay I definitely feel like an Aries or somebody, uh, there could be a boss or something that really likes you and you might get a promotion with the Empress here. Also, the Empress talks about being in the arts. So you could be an actress or in the arts or something like that. All right, let's look at single Libras. The strength reverse, the chariot, the world reverse. The Nine of Cups, how much minutes we have. The Nine of Wands reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like you're moving away from somebody who you really care a lot about, but it just wasn't working. One of you wasn't sexually attracted to the other. So I see you moving on from somebody. Um, and if you're not moving on from somebody, I see you traveling really soon. Some of you could travel across the world or you could just be traveling in state. I feel like um, you're going to get some type of wish fulfillment. Um, I don't know what it's about though, but I see you're going to get some type of wish. I think somebody who you wanted an opportunity with is going to give you an opportunity. Like um, the wheel of fortune, there's going to be a change in um, 
uh, there's some type of change that takes place that makes you really happy. It looks like it relates to finances and somebody offering you something stable. So those of you who are single, I do feel like an earth energy is around you that wants something solid. Okay, if they're not around, then I predict that they will be coming around. Okay, all right, Libras, let's take a look at the charm. Oh, we got the Queen of Cups. So some of you are involved with the water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, and uh, it's, uh, this is the Queen of Hearts, excuse me, but it's also the Queen of Cups. So with this person, the Queen of Cups uh, loves you. You know, their heart is filled with love for you. And this is somebody who could possibly be in love with you. All right, let's get lost. It looks like your relationship, uh, you guys are going to be traveling or you've just traveled. Travel is in um, the plans for you guys, with, especially with this compass. Okay, I feel Hawaii for some reason. Some of you could be going to Hawaii or going to some place that, um, or you know, going around, whatever the case is, this person is in love with you and they want to experience life with you. And I feel like you are going to be seeing a side of your person that's very kind um, within the next couple of weeks, okay? All right, Libras, let's lay out the cards for, oh, a Z, somebody with a Z in their name. Haven't seen that before. Possibly somebody with a Z in their name. That's not for everybody, but that's for some of you. Could be, um, that reading just looked way too good to be true. I mean, like, that was amazing. It was the Empress and the Emperor together. Jesus. And the King of Coins and the Six of Coins was between them. So, like, some of you might be buying a mansion, buying a condo. Um, you could be, you and your husband or mate could be into real estate and you're flipping houses. So, that's a power couple. I definitely feel like a power couple is in the making. Beyonce has Libra in her chart, doesn't she? What sign is uh, Jay-Z? Is he a Virgo? No, he's a Sagittarius, I think. Huh. That was like a Beyonce and Jay-Z reading, you know? I hope that resonates. And if not, wait a couple of weeks. Wait a couple of weeks. Some real good things with work with the emperor is happening. And the king of coins, uh, some of you uh, may work for a real good boss. Or you may be hired at a, a real good office uh, company. All right. All right, Libras. Let's take a look at uh, mid-July. Libras, mid-July. Looks real good, you know. Mid-July. I feel like somebody steps up. I feel like somebody steps up, okay? Um, it looks like at first you or your person may be wondering if this is really the one that you want to spend your life with, and I think they step up their game in July. Somebody steps up their game. I'm going to call this that. Somebody steps up their game. And then uh, you begin to realize that, yeah, you know, maybe we can make this work for July. I don't know what's going to happen in August, okay? Where is this relationship going for Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? How does Libra feel about this person? What is Libra's person hiding? What is Libra hiding? Are they seeing someone else? If so, where is it going between them? Is Libra seeing someone else? If so, where is it going between them? How does this person secretly feel about Libra? Like they don't even know that they feel like this. How does Libra secretly feel about this person? May not even be conscious. And what is the outcome for July? 
All right, Libra, so we're gonna take a look at um, how your person uh, views you. And we're gonna do singles and we're gonna do couples, okay? So Libra singles. Those people who, you know, you may be romantically interested in or they may be romantically interested in you, how are they seeing you? How are they seeing you? The Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician. They see you as a um, someone who is competitive in the market value system, okay? A high, you know, like they see you as being beautiful and um, that you have strong communication skills and that you have what it takes. You have everything that it takes to make a relationship work. You are going to have particularly strong strong favor from a Virgo or from uh, a Gemini, all right? I also see particular strong um, strong favor from any of the fixed signs, the Taurus, the Leo, the Aquarius, and uh, who am I missing? Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, okay? Um, they also see you as somebody who's willing to relocate for your job or move like you want to you want the best in life all right so that's what I'm seeing all right uh, Libra couples Libra couples Libra couples how does your person view you mid July ten of cups four cups reverse eight of cups this is like, you think, you would think that I'm doing something to the cards, you know, because this readings, these, especially that Leo reading, they're so positive. You might be dealing with the Leo because Leo got, um, you know, real positive spread like this too. They see you as a wife material, right? Uh, they see you a part of their family and extended family. Um, they want to ex experience new things with you, even though you guys could be be with each other for a long time eight of cups reverse they don't see themselves leaving this connection at all like they don't want to go and they want to experience new things with you and um, make your family a little closer than it already is okay all right so I'm going to turn these cards over Libras and cross watchers and I am going to answer um, you know some more questions about this relationships I will do singles and I will do couples like where is this relationship going for singles and where is this relationship going for couples all right so if you want to see the extended reading the link would be at the top of the comment section and in the description box it'll say click below for the Libra extended reading and you can click the link and be taken to Vimeo or to my website where for a nominal fee you can see the extended reading also again if you want to read Reading, go to www.sunshinetarot.net and book your reading. Thank you so much, Libras, for watching. All my Libras out there, I love you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, see you next week. God bless.